there my beautiful Pisces welcome to your weekly for June 27th to July 4th keep in mind time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel Pisces I do have a Pisces only channel where we get out a bunch of bonus readings for Pisceans you can find the link for that in the description box and the comment section down below so let's get an angel for you, Pisces, for the week and see what's coming through for you. And your angel is the Angel of Clarity, card number five. Beautiful, Pisces. So for a lot of you, you have been very fogged. You have been feeling very unclear. You have been feeling a bit all over the place, maybe in terms of your mind, your heart, Whatever the case may be, Spirit is here to bless you with clarity on situations, clarity on what you want, clarity on your path, your purpose, and it's going to feel really good to you, Pisces. We love clarity. We love feeling clear. And, you know, for a long time, you may have been feeling very up in the air, no longer with this angel coming in to help you. So let's see what's we have with the quantum oracle pisces and you have there you go there's your energy card fragmented energy this is what you have been doing your energy has been very scattered fragmented all over the place you never knew where to put your puzzle piece and you know spirit is giving you that energy of feeling clear on what to do. So I feel like for a lot of you Pisces, you may have spread yourself out too thin. Some of you may have just been very uncertain about situations all over the place, not really exactly 100% positive on what to do. I'm not surprised you got that fragmented energy. I literally just explained that with the Angel of Clarity. So let's see. Let's get one more quantum for you, Pisces. And you, there you, oh my goodness, the intention card back and forth. Oh my gosh. So Pisces, you have been very indecisive about something. You didn't really know what to do. You didn't really know where to place your energy. You didn't know where you wanted to head. This week, you have clear, concise thought process of what you want to do. Somebody may have been very back and forth with you, Pisces, and they're becoming more clear. Um, but this definitely is a lot of you. Let's get one more of these and see how this energy transpires. Hidden motivations, card number one. All right, Pisces. All right, Pisces. All right, I feel like for some of you Pisces, you have not known what to do in certain situations. For work, friends, love, family, you've been like, um, it could be as simple as you got invited somewhere and you're like, maybe I'll go. Actually, I don't know if I want to go. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I won't. Should I do this? Should I do that? Some of you may have to be choosing between two people here as well in terms of love. Some of you may have to choose between two jobs or multiple different jobs or where to place your energy for your workplace. You definitely have been back and forth about something and you've really been hiding how frustrating it's been for you. That's what I want to say. You've been back and forth, maybe about a lover. Maybe somebody wants to stay in your life. Maybe a lover wants to come back into your life. Maybe you're in a position of choosing to be in a relationship. Maybe you're in a position of choosing to move on from someone. No matter what, you've been very frustrated with being unsettled about a decision. So you've been pretty indecisive. I'm not really surprised seeing that you are a mutable sign. You are Pisces and you have two fishes. We have two fishes. Um, so, you know, sometimes they could challenge each other, and I feel like that's what's been happening. The two fishes have been challenging each other here, Pisces, and, you know, um, you haven't been showing how frustrated you've been. You haven't been showing how frustrated you've been about this situation with work, of not knowing what to do, the situation with friends, family, love, but it's been within you, and whether you think it or not, I do feel like some people were able to pick up on it. Other people could have been delirious to the fact that you were feeling 
um, indecisive or unclear, but that's exactly why the Angel of Clarity is here. Some of you may feel like somebody's hiding their intentions towards you, so you're uncertain with what you should do with this situation. Could be a friend, could be a lover, a family member. Some of you may be waiting for something to become clear to you before you make a choice about something. Jeez, your main message is crazy. Let's get you a fortune. Care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Yeah. And I feel like that's why you have been back and forth. You're like, I don't want to make the wrong choice. I don't want to make the wrong move. I'm very uncertain. I'm very unclear of where I should go, who I should choose, what job I should work for, what I should do for my career. Take care of yourself with that fortune coming in. We're going to get another property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heeds security concerns in any transactions. Okay, so this is very interesting. Maybe some of you are going back and forth on making a purchase. And some of you, I feel like... I feel like for some of you, putting your time and energy into certain people and certain experiences, certain careers, almost feels like you are making a purchase. Because you know that term, buying time? I feel like that's what some of you feel. You're kind of like, okay, am I just wasting my time in this job? Am I just wasting my time with these friends? Am I wasting my time in this family dynamic? Am I wasting my time in this love situation? You are extremely uncertain about something. Some of you, you are trying to make a purchase or put something for sale and you're feeling very uncertain about that. Let's get one more of these because your reading is crazy. Love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Hmm, hmm. So some of you, this, or most of you, this is around your love life. That's probably why you have the care required in property. Like I said, like you feel like you're like, you're trying to buy time or you feel like your time is like just the, as good as money. Does that make sense? And I feel like for a lot of you, all right, so this probably has something to do with your love life. All right. So you're either choosing between multiple people. Sorry, the hidden motivations is there. Whether you're showing that or not, I don't know. Others of you, I feel like you are trying to choose if you should pursue a specific person that you're kind of uncertain if they're deceiving you. You will get clear on that. There is a big decision here to be made this week. This is insane reading. Pisces, this is probably one of your most crazy readings ever, and you're only on your main message up here. We didn't even get your tarot out yet. So there's something happening. You have property and love life. So I'm going to go with, it could be a purchase you're back and forth with, a job situation you're back and forth with, or a love situation you're back and forth with. You really don't really know what decision you want to make because you're really scared of being deceived and making a foolish mistake. Choosing the wrong person, giving your time and energy to the wrong person, um, choosing the wrong path for work. But with that angel of clarity as your... First card out, things are becoming extremely clear to you of what decision you should make. It will not be a mistake, Pisces. Oh my goodness, let's see what your major themes are in the tarot. Um, I only did another sign for this so far, and they only got one of each of these cards, so... Jeez. Things are crazy. All right, here we go. First card out is, why am I not surprised? Refusing to see the two of swords, the energy of having to make a decision. We have the ace of pentacles, earth energy, strengthening bonds, and helpless and hopeless, the eight of swords. 
You know, it's interesting, Pisces. Both of these cards in the regular tarot are the two cards that are blindfolded. So, there it is, right in front of you, this offer. Somebody could be offering you commitment. Somebody could be offering you a date. Somebody may be offering you a relationship. Somebody could be offering you a job. Somebody could be offering you a raise. Um, this could be that purchase with the Ace of Pentacles. You are totally, totally... Um, having a very hard time. You are really having a hard time like coming into the realization and the clarity of what is an intuitive thought and what is a fear. So there's a big offer on the table here, Pisces, um, but you're extremely overthinking it. Either, I mean, there's going to be multiple reasons, either because you feel like you may not be able to trust it, you feel like um, you'll waste your time, maybe you feel like you you need to trust yourself more in making good decisions as well. I feel like that may be another thing. Maybe you feel like, well, I didn't choose the right job before. What makes me think that this is the right job now? I didn't make a good decision last time. Or I'm not that great with choosing love or choosing friends or choosing um, purchases. Because look what I purchased the last time and what happened. Look at the lover I gave a chance to last time. There's definitely something like that. So let's clarify this. Clarify the Two of Swords here for Pisces. Why is the Two of Swords here? All right. We have the Two of Swords. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. We have the Two of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. You guys have two, two, two. And the Knight of Cups. So there's a lover or there's the person that you're thinking about pursuing. Man, are you indecisive. Some of you definitely have more than one person. Sorry if this is um, telling on you or something. You know, it could not, it doesn't have to be your fault. You know, you could just have people that won't leave you alone. <laughs> but you have a decision to make on if you want to pursue someone. Or who you want to pursue, Pisces. For sure, sure. But there's just some sort of fear or some sort of indecision with it. I mean, triple two. Clarify the ace of pentacles, please, for Pisces. All right. So this is definitely the lover that they're talking about with love life. Ace of pentacles, eight of wands, page of pentacles, a star. Y'all, if this is money, you better do it. Mm-hmm. Do not miss this opportunity. You better go for this. This raise, this abundance, this new job, whatever it is. It looks good. It looks really good. Blessings. Very lucky energy in terms for work. So whatever you want to do with work, wherever you're heading, I see a lot of success and growth for your work. So trust yourself in making those decisions, Pisces. Definitely could be a totally new job coming your way for sure. Or um, more money coming your way. Some of you are deciding if you should stay somewhere or deciding if you should work somewhere else. And if this has to do with romance, oh my gosh, Pisces, you are extremely attractive to this person. I mean, you have the Ace of Pentacles to so the Page of Pentacles. This person feels very lucky to even be in your energy. And this person is really hoping and wishing for healing and movement forward with you in a capacity of really starting something in the physical Wow, that's nice. All right, let's clarify this Eight of Swords now on Helpless and Hopeless here. This is for Pisces. Some of you in terms of romance, definitely starting a relationship, getting asked out on a date, or definitely meeting somebody new or um, restarting something on a new level that seems really abundant and really hopeful but something happened to you in the past with love or you're deciding between energies with love or maybe there was something that happened between you and this person that you're a little bit indecisive but I mean the offers look really good especially for finance too so let's see the eight of swords please clarify the eight of swords 
We have the King of Cups. Wonderful, beautiful. The Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Nice, Pisces. All right, so you're definitely going to get out of your head. You're definitely going to get more clear. You're definitely going to start moving forward a lot more and not feel so stuck or indecisive here. I definitely feel like for a lot of you, Pisces, you're feeling better than ever this week. As the week transpires, this offer is going to come in and change everything. You're not going to be indecisive anymore. You're not going to second guess your decisions or what decision you'll come up with. You're not going to second guess this purchase. Some of you, if you are making a purchase or this offer of abundance coming in, this is a very surprising, this is a very hopeful, this is a very blessed opportunity and offer coming your way here. And I feel like for a lot of you Pisces, because of what you've went through in love, in career, in purchasing things in the past, um, you are a little bit in your head, but it's time to trust yourself because you do make the right decisions and you will choose the right person. You will choose the right path. You will take the correct offer. Trust yourself beautiful, a blessed, amazing offer coming in Pisces. And I see just such amazing movement for you as well, where you're not in your head. You're not feeling like you can't understand what's your intuition. You're hearing things clearly. You're feeling things clearly. And I feel like you look real good doing it. Um, like I said, some of you do have to choose between two people. You have a Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands here. I mean, some of you, it could be three with that King of Cups, but I'm indicating that that's you, Pisces, male or female, just becoming more in control of your mind and your heart and becoming a lot more clear. Beautiful reading, Pisces. This offer is going to change everything. Like this is extreme abundance and luck. And that's why that angel of clarity is here, because they're going to show you things a lot clearer. Wow, Pisces. So let's get you a fairy dust in terms of zodiac signs in your spread. Um, you really have all signs, but in terms of a major, you have Aquarius as the star. So let's see what we have for your fairy dust, Pisces. And your fairy is... The green fairy, the cheeky green fairy on your behalf is appearing here to make you laugh. And the green is the color of money, abundance, prosperity, good health, things along those lines. Wonderful. This is one of your best readings yet, Pisces. You and, Pi you and um, who else had a really good reading? Taurus. If you have any Taurus in your chart or any of that around you, definitely check out their spread. Um, but wow, if this reading resonated to you, Pisces, do not forget to subscribe and like this video so we can, um, have a larger Piscean community, even though we have a bunch of Pisces family on here, as well as my Pisces only channel. So I'll see you here as well as on your channel and sending my love to each and every one of you Pisces out there. Have a good one. Bye now.